Music is something special and uh, we get the force from the nature and our nature is special because we have this midnight sun and we have the darkness of Kamos. So the register, if you are surfing on the nature's powers, is very large, extreme. And then also this that all Finns, already when they are young, they get into this habit of having two places where they live and think and make the life. Uh, some urban and then this place at the lake with the sauna in the summer. And then they have time to be on close encounter with nature and uh, kind of alone uh, make the symbiosis with, with that force and uh, uh, that uh, molds the individuality of the Finnish people. And uh, music needs personality because it needs something between the lines. And I think the only natural source for that is nature itself. With the Helsinki Philharmonic that has developed to be an instrument that plays uh, uh, Rautavaara's music with, uh, with a uh, uh, liveliness or uh, honest uh, musical power, uh, which they learned by playing so much of him. It feels that Rautavaara in some way is such a composer that he composes the same thing uh, over and over, but it's not the same thing and that makes it um, uh, so uh, easy to fall in love with because if you like one piece then he doesn't let you down in the others because they, these things that, that uh, are hypnotizing uh, harmonically or, or this ocean wave like uh, uh, building large arches uh, they are all there present in every one of his composition and that's typical for Rautavara. And, uh, well, we then uh, that do these uh, different works, we try to, to get deeper and deeper and, and in, in this latest work, uh, uh, At Last Frontier, well, if you really mean that all those that took part in it uh, in their own life score, so to say, uh, open the, such a bar where you, you confront yourself with such a thought as the last frontier. Well, then between the lines, when you listen to our CD of that, uh, there it is, we opened it for you. It's not a black hole uh, in the universe and it's not a, a white hole either, but it's uh, something that is very honestly notated by Eina Juhani Rautavara and on which we surfed and gave our uh, musical fantasy uh, utmostly. There is almost something mystical about the fact that so many of uh, the creative works of my adult age uh, have been hinted at or predictive, if you will, uh, in very early youth or even in childhood. And one of them is, one of those cases is, is, is uh, uh, my latest work for orchestra uh, and course and orchestra called On the Last Frontier. When I was about 11 or 12 years old, I found in the, among the books of my father, a, a translation of Edgar Allan Poe, published in Finland in 1915 it was, that book, and uh, it was called Valta uh, Meren Salaisus, about something like the secret of the ocean or secret of the deep. and. Um, it was a sea, seafaring uh, adventure story just for a boy in that age. Uh, but uh, when, it, when it approached uh, the conclusion, that story, it, uh, the, the, the style of the writer changed. After having been quite uh, realistic narration, it became on those maybe two last pages, 
something different, something mysterious, almost like a text for a mystic ritual. And this was very fascinating. I didn't really understand this, uh, but I remembered it. So that when, almost six decades later, I found in a bookshop in Helsinki a book with uh, collected stories of Edgar Allan Poe. I immediately remembered that thing and, and, and browsed uh, through the book and, and tried to find that story. And it was there, under a quite different, uh, more prosaic heading, uh, the narration of Arthur Gordon Pym. But uh, those last paragraphs were exactly as fascinating as they had been in my childhood. So when this, this happened in 1997, and uh, uh, the Helsinki Philharmonic Orchestra had been, was willing to, to, to commission a work for orchestra uh, for my birthday, 17th birthday, so I decided to use this text and uh, uh, compose a work for orchestra, chorus and orchestra, large chorus and large orchestra. And uh, I used those last uh, few last paragraphs of the conclusion of the book. And uh, of course, the text had to be uh, re, uh, reworked somewhat, uh, so that taken from its context, out from its, out, out of its context, into a new context, uh, some the order of the uh, sentences had to be changed, and so on, Alfred. Uh, but um, uh, the role of the orchestra. And that is maybe half of time of the time is orchestra alone, and half of the time together with the with the chorus. Uh, the role of the orchestra is to tell its own story, uh, a story which is only expressible in music. As we know, music is capable of of telling tales which are not translatable, not expressible in, in words or, uh, or thoughts, but uh, only as music. And this is the role of the orchestra in this work. Nyt leijui synkkä hämärä yllämme. Vain meren maidon valkeasta syvyydestä kohosi hohtavaa loistetta. Eteläiseen taivaan rantaan oli noussut valtava usva seinämä, joka vähitellen sai yhä selvemmän hahmon. Mittaamaton putous vyöryi äänettömästi alas mereen jonkin suunnattoman ja kaukaisen taivaan vallin yli. Jättiläismäinen esirippu ulottui pitkin koko eteläistä horisonttia. Siitä ei tullut ääntäkään. Valkoista tuhkaa satoi yllemme. Hämäryys oli suuresti lisääntynyt. Sitä lievesi vain veden kimallus, kun se heitti Tyi takaisin valkoisesta verhosta edessämme. Valtavia ja kalpean valkoisia lintuja lensi verhon takaa. Lakkaamatta huutaen ne palasivat näkymättömiin. Putouksen huippu katosi täysin hämärään ja etäisyyteen, mutta me lähestyimme sitä hirvittävällä nopeudella. Hetkittäin putoukseen avautui laajoja ammottavia repeytymiä, joista näkyi lepattavia epäselviä kuvia. Sieltä ryntäsi mahtavia, mutta äänettömiä tuulia. Ne repivät auki hehkuvaa merta. 
Ja nyt me syöksyimme alas putouksen syliin, missä kuilu avautui meidät nielemään. Mutta meidän eteemme kohosi sieltä verhottu ihmishahmo, paljon suurempi kuin ainoakaan ihmisistä. Ja hahmon ihon väri oli täydellisen valkoinen kuin lumi.